We're a breed apart from the rest of humanity, we theater folk. We are the original displaced personalities. You won't have to read his column tomorrow, Eve. You just heard it. I don't agree, Addison. And that happens to be your particular abnormality. Well, I'll admit there's a screwball element in the theater. Sticks out. It's got spotlights on it and a brass band. But it isn't basic. It isn't standard. If it were, the theater couldn't survive. A waiter. And that isn't a waiter, my dear. That's a butler. Well, I can't yell, oh, butler, can I? Maybe somebody's name is butler. You have a point. An idiotic one, but a point. I don't want to make trouble. All I want is a drink. Leave it to me. I'll get you one. Thank you, Mr. Fabian. Well done. I can see your career rising in the east like the sun. You were saying? No, I was saying that the theater is nine-tenths hard work. Work done the hard way by sweat, application, and craftsmanship. I'll agree to this. To be a good actor or actress or anything else in the theater means wanting to be that more than anything else in the world. Yes. Yes, it does. It means a concentration of desire or ambition and sacrifice such as no other profession demands. And I'll agree that the man or woman who accepts those terms can't be ordinary, can't be just someone. He gives so much for almost always so little. So little. There's nothing else. There's applause. I've listened backstage to people applaud. It's like... like waves of love coming over the footlights and wrapping you up. Imagine to know every night the different hundreds of people love you. They smile. Their eyes shine. You've pleased them. They want you. You belong. Just that alone is worth anything. 